Etang Skates here, coming back at you with another review. Today, I'm gonna be doing a shoe review. We got the Opus Honey Slip On. Oh, wait. That's not this. Hi, honey bad, bro. Slip On shoe. This shoe is a slip on by this new company called Opus. Um, I got these shoes for like 50% off for like 30. I decided to give them a shot. I, I've seen um, my homie on Instagram, fakey cowgirl shreds in these shoes and um, kind of inspired me to give them a shot. They look like a super clean like shoe with nothing really to rip, just all suede. And so I've skated slip-ons before. It's definitely one of the most unique and slash just ugly, weird looking slip ons I've ever seen. What are you guys seeking to achieve with this? $65? Like, all right, this is unfinished. This is a sample that never should have seen the light of day. It's because it's kind of like a slip on, but then it's kind of like a regular shoe with this little tongue situation. And there's no uh, laces or anything in there. Also, um, I'm gonna have to show a picture of the stock insole. Because those weren't cutting it, boss. Uh, I had to replace those. I'm trying out Remind insoles. These are Chris Cole Medic insoles. They're all right. I think I like uh, footprints better. First off, first thing about the shoe, it's low profile. Like there's not a lot to it. Freaking this sole kind of wore out pretty fast. I was um a little a little bit uh surprised at how quickly those kind of flattened out this kind of reminds me of like the kai soles where it's like kind of a softer rubber doesn't last so long so this foxing tape kind of wore out pretty fast this is like about a couple weeks of skating this and it skated really well the times i did skate it uh the flick flick super nice it's a really grippy shoe the soles I like the soles, just classic herringbone style tread. Um, they all are like suede shoes. Um, they all come with the same bottom. So like if you get one of those high top or mid top shoes, it's going to be the same sole, same thing as the insole. Um, but yeah, what I do, get them, swap out the insole. Also, I'm going to rate these out of 10. Um, for the price I paid for them, seven out of 10. Um, 35 bucks, can't beat that. Freaking, it's a skate shoe. It's got suede. It's way better than some like canvas shoes. Uh, Sorry guys, my phone died that day. I'm here to continue the review. But yeah, these shoes, tr great shoes for the price. Um, I'm just gonna be comparing them to what I know to be the number one slip-on, uh, van slip-ons. And differences between them, um, this is a lot harder of a material, so it lasts a little bit longer. Um, suede-wise, uh, this suede definitely held up fine. It was super good. It's tough suede, so that's awesome on the Opus. Um, for the bottoms, I got to give it to Vans. They got the better uh, sole right now. They last a little bit longer. Um, for the shape, I like the regular Vans shape. If you can see, my foot kind of just like puffed the shoe out, made it look hella goofy, unlike the Vans shoe. And yeah, the sole, something to note, it never was flat. It had this weird bow in it. It did flatten out after a while but yeah it's just probably cheaper production overall i don't know if i'm gonna get another pair of opuses let me know if you've skated opus shoes before this has been another etang skates video make sure to like comment and subscribe i've got some skate footage coming up at the end of this video um yeah Later.